All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome. We've got our uh, quick post uh, practice press conference here going on here. We're going to start out with uh, Piffany Prince is here. If you've got a question for Piff, uh, go ahead and hit that uh, hand raise button there in the reaction section, and we will get to you. And why don't you go ahead, Em? Uh, hi. I, I want to start off by asking uh, about Sammy Whitcomb. I know, uh, I know you were there with the Sky when she signed her training contract and didn't make it, and now she's basically had just been an all-star snub. I was wondering, I was just wondering if you had been, if you thought you'd be able to really see her growth in her time here, and what you thought of her. Um, like you said, I, I wasn't really there when she first started here, but from playing with her last year in a bubble, um, I knew she was capable of playing how she's playing now. Great, thanks. Um, and then I wanted to ask, with you coming off the, the bench and helping lead the second unit, with you having a lot more time under your belt as a veteran than a lot of the other players out there, uh, does handling pace and handling sort of team chemistry in that second unit, do you, does that put some pressure on you? Um, I think no. Uh, we all like each other, so the chemistry is there. It's just about um, us. It was about us getting up and down with each other to, to know each other's game more. Great. Thanks. All right, thanks, Sam. And uh, John, go ahead. Uh, if you could identify the alley you're with, too, I appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, it's John Robleski with Global Traveler Magazine. Um, I'd like to go a little bit back in time. I, I just found out that you scored over 100 points in a high school basketball game. Was that designed that way, or did it just kind of happen during the game? Uh, it just sort of happened during the game. Uh, I had a hot hand, and my teammates kept beating me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, that's it. We'll wrap it up with Pip. Pip, thanks so much for joining us. And Thank good you. luck out there tonight. Thank you. We will have uh, Ezzy, uh, Meg McGore here joining us here shortly. All right, we've got Ezzy uh, here. Um, if you have a question for Ezzy, go ahead and hit that hand raise. But John, well, let's go ahead and start off with you again here. If you, uh, oh, uh, I guess we'll go with uh, Christy Scott. Christy, go ahead and uh, rate and. Uh... Hi, Ezzy. Hold on, let me get Hi. in here. There we go. Sorry, like running a camp at the same time, but I got in here. Um, with the game tonight, what do you think? the biggest key will be for the team to win it because, you know, without Tiffany Hayes, how does that change what Atlanta likes to do? Um, I think with Atlanta, they have, you know, a few key players. So I think without Tiffany, they're probably going to, you know, try and come out just as strong. I think, you know, with um, Courtney Williams, with Odyssey, with, you know, a lot of their guards and bigs as well. So I think it's just, you know, being able to defend those players because, you know, they're going to be, you know, hungry to win a game just like us. We haven't won a couple in a while. So, um, yeah, I think just defensively we need to just focus. And, um, yeah, that'll be a key for tonight's game. And with the size advantage that your team has, right? I mean, we're talking about defense, but on the offensive side, what kind of things do you want to do on the offensive end to expose that advantage as well? Um, yeah, just using that to our advantage. So, you know, we have a few big guards. So I think just, you know, getting them in post-ups early, just, um, yeah, taking advantage of their smaller guards as well, but just playing our game, just running the floor, doing, you know, what we're used to doing and getting back to how we play will be key tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Um, John, let's go ahead and go to you. Sorry, Ms. John Robleski. John Robleski with Global Traveler Magazine. Uh, I had just a question about the shoes that you designed for the Kicks campaign. Could you talk a little bit about those? Um, yeah, I obviously designed a pair of shoes this year. Um, they had the raised fist on one side and just the Black Lives Matter phrase on the other side. And um, I think I spoke about it before. I think just having consistency, you know, from last year to this year and kind of, 
continuing on that message was kind of what I went for this year, just to keep it simple. Um, but I think it's a great initiative, what we're doing, um, and just hoping to continue it in the future as well. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. Thanks, John. Uh, and Adler, go ahead, Em. Hi, Elsie. Um, I wanted to first follow up on that question about the size advantage. Obviously, you're going from a team like in the Aces who have forwards and centers galore. Now you're going, when, when you see a team like the Dream, who really only have like one true center and, um, and Elizabeth Williams, do you sort of, do you sort of um, get excited to be able to come in against that second unit and just wreak havoc in the paint? <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it, it is exciting. Um, not taking anything away from the Atlanta Bigs, though, I think, you know, they are a great team. They are very skilled. But I think just being able to match their energy um, and obviously using those that side of size advantage, sorry, to our advantage at all times, whether it is, you know, with the guards or the post. But, yeah, it's exciting to, you know, match up against the Dream. Of course. Um, and then just wanted to ask, when you saw the All-Star rosters come out, were you surprised to not see, to not see Sammy make it? Uh, you know, Sammy's, she's had a great season. I'm super excited for her. I think, you know, there's a lot of talent on that all-star roster. Um, but yeah, I think she'll, she'll get her chance, um, you know, in the next few years. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And, and if there's no further questions, we'll uh, go ahead and wrap things up for today as a good luck tonight. And we'll Thank see you. you. Thank you.